The purpose of this video is to show how the locally made reusable cloth masks and imported disposable masks are evaluated for quality and performance and to assure the public that locally made masks approved by the Food and Drugs Authority give the same level of protection as the FDA approved imported masks. Locally made face masks approved by the FDA are manufactured in accordance with FDA's guidelines for locally made face masks and the Ghana standards GSPAS for 2020. Locally made masks are required to have three layers with the middle layer acting as a filter or barrier offering effective protection for use as medical masks. Both locally made masks and all imported medical masks, including the N95 mask, are evaluated by the FDA using the American Society for Testing of Materials Methods, ASTM, in the FDA's medical devices ISO 17025-2017 accredited laboratory. In evaluating the locally made mask, the first check is to check the dimensions. The most important thing is that the mask must have the correct fit measurements, that is, length, breadth and thickness, covering the nose, mouth and chin. The thickness is measured using a digital thickness gauge and the other dimensions are measured. The specifications for dimensions of each type of mask are indicated at the end of this video. The next test is the aerosol spray splash test. This test method is used to evaluate the resistance of all medical face masks to penetration by the impact of a small volume of aerosol liquid. This test is used to determine whether the mask is capable of preventing liquids or droplets sprayed on the outside of the mask from appearing on the inside of the mask. The aerosol used for this test being less viscous than oropharyngeal secretions giving the added assurance of performance of a mask that passes this test. The dyed aerosol is sprayed at high speed onto the mask and after five minutes, an assessment is made on the inside layers to see if there are any liquid stains present. This is done by taking the mask apart and inspecting the fabric layers. Pass-fail determination is based on visual detection of the dye penetration. The porosity of the mask is then tested. The porosity is determined by applying a 10,000 pascal of air pressure on the inside of the face mask. A flame is placed on the outer side of the mask and porosity is determined by whether the flame is extinguished under pressure. If the flame goes off, it means the air pressure going through the mask is great enough to put out the flame. And this indicates that the pores of the fabric are too wide and any airborne virus that comes into contact with the mask will have access through the pores. Breathability Breathability of the face mask is the ability to breathe comfortably whilst wearing the face mask. This is determined during the porosity test. For satisfactory breathability, the ratio of the atmospheric pressure to the applied air pressure from a pressure device should be less than 6. For N95 masks and comparable locally made medical masks and less than 5, for other medical face masks. This is checked and confirmed for all types of face masks. Kindly note the following dimensions and values. Please, Let's all follow the protocols, including wearing of the right mask, to enable us to protect ourselves and others from COVID-19. FDA, your well-being, our priority.